The rise of the Internet and other information channels has reduced the number of people who buy books. This, combined with the threat of large chains, poses a threat to independent bookstores. Many of these smaller sellers have met these challenges by partnering together through a bookstore cooperative. This has made it easier for them to acquire books and continue focusing on specialty publications not available anywhere else. Our Sunday in-depth report. Xu He is the owner of a small independent bookstore in Danshui. Today he's in discussions with Red Castle to plan an upcoming book fair. Xu's bookstore is quite small, leading him to think that the only way to survive is expansion into some of Danshui's better known shops. We are now a shop on this street, but we hope to join with other stores and move our bookcases into their shops. By letting them sell books, we can turn the entire street into a type of bookstore. In Taipei's National Taiwan University Business District, another independent bookstore, Zhuai Eternel, pairs authors and readers as a means of generating business. At the time, our visibility was dependent on hosting events, so later this was something that I always insisted upon. It became one of our most important features. Here is the NTHU bookstore inside National Tsinghua University. Inside is the aroma of both coffee and books as the store is seeking mixed use of its space. The best scenery is this lakeside view, which we left as a cafe. Each of these three small independent bookstores is seeking its own way to survive. They organize activities and go beyond the simple task of selling books. As online bookstores offer substantial discounts, consumers forget that much more goes into the price of a book than what is printed on the cover. It has gone too far. Some places are offering discounts of 25% for three books. And books.com.tw offers a book of the day at a 44% discount. Our cost is about 30% off the list price, so they're selling books at below our cost. Many of Taiwan's independent bookstores are facing the same plight. Independent bookstores must purchase books from a distributor. If they buy more than they can sell, a backlog could result in stock they cannot afford. Another dilemma many independent bookstores face is an inability to get newly published books. For these reasons, their purchases include big inventory risks. In contrast, large chain bookstores have more bargaining power and can utilize a consignment system, withholding payments to publishers until books are sold. The purchase price for small bookstores can be higher than other bookstores. This causes unfair competition when it comes to new books at big bookstores. With small bookstores finding it difficult to compete against chains and online sellers, there were few choices but for these small bookstores to band together. <laughs> At the end of 2014, more than 40 independent bookstores established a cooperative that brought small bookstores together. The first thing they needed to solve was problems acquiring books. After the cooperative formed, our most fundamental objective was to make it possible for everyone to get the books they want. While it may not be any cheaper to acquire books through this cooperative, it's much more convenient than when we had to communicate with publishers and book distributors as independent bookstores. Small independent bookstores were frequently ignored by publishers or book distributors in the past. Now that this cooperative is able to purchase larger quantities of books, the bookstores garner more attention and spread purchase cost and inventory risk. Each independent bookstore can represent local culture and become a sales platform to introduce independent publications. The fish and the water go together. For example, if an independent author can't find a distributor or a dealer willing to help release a book, then the cooperative offers a potential channel for cooperation. Supporters and consumers of independent bookstores will have more choices. Whichever way you look at it, this benefits everyone. While large bookstores are run more like a business, operators of small bookstores have goals that go beyond profits.
我真的觉得做书店是不只是做。I really think a bookstore is not just a business. Bookstores offer another way of thinking. You can't just sell books. You also need to contribute to local arts and culture. 对一个实体空间的呃存在来讲 ，the bookstore occupies a space which you can enter and interact with others. You can spark ideas and have dialogue. Independent bookstores offer a channel for academic writings, non-mainstream works, and minority opinions. Despite competition from online sellers, these values haven't changed.